The beautiful city of Ubrique, tucked in the mountains of southern Spain, is going to be our home for the next eight months. In this video, we're going to show you our apartment, tour around the town, and then hike one of the mountains in the surrounding area. Let's do this. Now it's time to head downstairs and give you a tour of our apartment. Here we are. First we have a beautiful wooden door. Our door has two locks. One that locks down here and then we have a little chain lock right here. Then we have our shoe area and a nice little table. We have a nice fan because our apartment does not have air conditioning. We also have a nice wooden dining room table with four chairs. The kitchen includes a huge fridge that is big enough for all of our food. And we also have a nice new washer that also doubles as more counter space for our nice cutting board. What a luxury because we didn't have a cutting board in our last Airbnb. So this is the thing that heats all of our hot water for showers, cleaning dishes, etc. You first have to move this little dial to the right. Next we have the bathroom. We have great sink space and we also have cupboard space for all of our toiletries. And with the mirror, we have a light. Then, because we're living in European luxury, we have a bidet. What is a bidet, Rika? You can look up how to work a bidet. And our nice toilet with a nice little flusher right here you pull down. And then we have a shower. Now we're gonna move on to the living room. We have a nice little couch. It's very comfy and a light right here. We actually just got this recently installed and we made it a little bit higher because we need it to be height friendly for Wyatt. <laughs> And we have this beautiful platform with a TV. Now we're gonna go to me and Wyatt's bedroom. The best part about this apartment is its natural light. Very calming and nice. We have this big bed. We do have an orange comforter. It was the least expensive comforter at the bazaar. And each of us have our nightstand with drawers and we have huge wardrobe. <laughs> Not really camera ready, love. But anyways, tons of storage space. And last, but certainly not least, the view from our apartment. And that concludes our tour. All right, two hours later, Rika's already ready. Now I need to change. All right, let's go. If you haven't noticed, almost all the buildings of Ubrique are white, and they do this to keep the heat down during the bright summer days. And a whopping block away from our apartment, you'll find the main plaza of Ubrique. The plaza has to be one of the most beautiful places in Ubrique. Behind me is the town hall, and right over here is one of the main churches. And there's even a cafe over here where people eat during the day. I love this place. You'll have kids playing soccer games, a bunch of people just sitting on the benches relaxing during the day. One of the newest things that neither Rika or me have ever experienced before are these fountains. And people will literally come and fill up their water bottles or take drinks like it's a drinking fountain all the time. Oh, I'm kind of thirsty. If only there was somewhere around where I could get some water. Oh, what is this? Yum. Alrighty, now we're headed down Calle Moreno de Mora, which is one of the main streets in Ubrique. It has a lot of the ATMs and a beautiful strip of trees. And if you're thirsty, here's another water fountain. They're pretty much everywhere on the streets of Ubrique. If you're ever in the market for a big 
puffy orange comforter, you can come here. And now we turn on to the main street of Ubrique or La Avenida. So, in the 19th century, immigrants arrived from Italy, bringing with them the leather trade. And to this day, you cannot miss the tons of leather stores on the sides of all the streets. Yeah, it's insane, honestly. A lot of the uh, leather coming out of Ubrique is used by famous brands like Gucci and Prada, all just from this little town in southern Spain. So the hours of Spain in general, but particularly in Ubrique, work differently, with stores and shops normally closing during the weekdays for siesta, where people go home to be with their families, eat and rest up for the afternoon shift. Siesta literally translates in Spanish to nap. It's hard to capture on video, but these streets are steep. Some of them stop being streets and they just become stairs. All right, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the view. Ermita del Calvario and it's a great place to see beautiful sights and even just to read a book. And then here's the view. 17,000 people just tucked into a little valley. It makes everything feel so small when you see it from above. The sun went down and that's where we're gonna end the video. Hope you enjoyed Ibrique. And if you wanted to stay tuned as we try to go to 50 countries, you should hit that subscribe button. But anyways, peace out guys. Big enough to, maybe we don't open the fridge. And then we have the lovely birds that are always chirping away. So under the sink to get the fire started. I dropped one. <laughs> it's a four leaf clover. That means we're gonna have good luck. Oh, classic. All right, you cold? Ready to go? Yeah.